So most of us believe that our personalities are just set in stone, that we will never be different than the people we are at this very moment. And that is just not true. So in this video, I'm going to explain where our personality actually comes from and how to break this down into smaller steps so that you can actually start to become the person you're meant to be, become the person you want to be, and live the life you deserve. Hey everyone, my name is Cassidy. I am a mindset and fitness coach and founder of Beyond the Body Wellness Company. And today I wanna to explain where your personality actually comes from and how to start changing it so that you can reach your highest potential. You can be the person you want to be, you're meant to be. Um, so first, we have to understand this broad concept of what actually makes us the people that we are. And that first starts with the action that we take. So how you interact with the world, how you interact with others, how you interact with yourself, where you go, what you do on a day to day, all of that makes up your personality. That, that is who you are. So if you want to become a different person, you have to start taking different action than you normally take. You have to start doing things you don't do at the moment if you want to become somebody different. And the thing that determines our action is our belief system. So we're, we're just breaking this down as far as possible. We're gonna keep breaking this down where our personality is determined by our action. Our action is determined by our belief system. So the beliefs that you have on a deep subconscious level that you may not even know that you have determines how you act in the world. So let's say you are somebody who has a belief, whether you are conscious of it or not, that every time you speak up in groups, you get criticized and people don't like you. Let's say that is a belief that you have. Well, that's going to determine your action, so you're probably not going to be somebody who speaks up that much in front of other people. And that all stems from a belief that you have, that you get criticized and you are not liked if you speak up, right? Um, so there's obviously tons of examples of this, but the next step to break this down even further is where do our beliefs come from? Our beliefs come from the feelings and emotions that we have. So let's take a very common example of this where we'll talk about public speaking. So let's say that every time you go in front of a big group of people, you are speaking in public, you get very nervous, very sweaty, you just, you know, can't do it. You are very scared. You have fear just built up inside of you and stress and overwhelm. Well, those feelings are going to now create a belief system that talking in front of people is scary. Public speaking is scary. And again, that's going to determine the action you take, which is probably not that much public speaking. And now we're going to break it down even further. So where do these feelings and emotions come from? Well, every single thing starts with our thoughts and the thoughts that we follow, the thoughts that we believe. So a thought alone is nothing, really. It is just a thought. Most of the time, though, we follow our thoughts. We believe our thoughts. And the thoughts that we're having, again, determine our feelings and emotions because if we're not having a negative thought about an event or a situation, then we're not going to feel stressed about it. We're not going to feel negative. If we're having those negative thoughts, let's take public speaking again, it's the feelings don't just erupt out of nowhere. It is typically thoughts where, let's say you're about to go up on stage somewhere. It is these thoughts that you may not recognize that you're even having, but thoughts that say, oh, you're going to mess up, don't mess up, um, this is so scary, you know, like all those stressful thoughts that then create the feeling and release the stress hormone into your body that make you believe that public speaking is scary, that make you act um, as if you don't like public speaking and you're probably not going to do it that much or every time you do, you're going to, again, cycle through this whole thing where you're gonna have more thoughts that are negative and more feelings and beliefs and action that are negative surrounding this specific concept. So to help you in your own life with understanding this whole thing, so I just explained that to kind of give you an understanding of how every single thing you do and the person you are truly does start from your own mind, what's going on in your thoughts and whether you again, follow those thoughts or not. Because if a thought comes in and it says, this day is so awful, if you consciously realize you're having that thought and say, no, I don't wanna believe that, I think this is a beautiful, amazing day, 
then you're not going to follow that thought and therefore that thought doesn't really matter it doesn't create you into the person you are but when you follow those thoughts when you choose to believe them and when you're conscious of them then those affect your feelings affect your beliefs affect your actions affect you so now i'm going to explain how to actually put this into practice and how to really allow this to affect your life on a conscious level in a positive way so the first step is write down and literally write it down don't just think it because our thoughts get so jumbled up in just our mind so write down who you want to be what is the ideal person and don't worry if it sounds sort of out of the blue right now or that it's so far in the future or you know you're not even close to that person right now don't worry about that just what is the person you want to be who is that your ideal personality and now that is the the personality so now again we're going to take the same process and take steps down from there so if somebody has that personality what are the actions that they would take and again just be writing all of this down on a piece of paper or in your notes on your phone or something what are the actions this person would be taking how would they be interacting with the world where would they go on a daily basis how would their mornings or nights look would they stay up late would they get up early would they you know eat healthy eat unhealthy what would they be doing in the world what types of friends would they have how would they dress just any action, any physical thing that you can think of that somebody with that personality would be doing on a day-to-day -day basis. And then again, break this down even further. What are the beliefs this person would have to have in order to act that way? So um, let's think of an example. So let's say the person you want to be, the personality, is somebody who is very healthy and fit, right? Then the action that somebody who is healthy and fit may have to take would be eating natural whole foods. It would be going to the gym. It would be going on walks. Now, what would the belief system have to be for somebody to want to do those things? Well, the beliefs would probably be, you know, exercise is fun and eating healthy makes me feel so good and so whole and that living a healthy lifestyle is exciting and is amazing that would have to be the belief systems so now we break this down even further what feelings would this person have to have on a day-to-day -day basis to make them believe that they are healthy and that being fit is fun going to the gym is exciting what feelings would they have to have well they would probably have to feel motivated to get up and go they would have to feel energized and now again we break this down further what thoughts would this person be having on a daily basis to make them feel like they are worthy of health um, that exercise is exciting and is fun and makes them feel good well the thoughts are probably the easiest part to um, come up with once you've done this whole process you can't really just start with the thoughts. You should be trying to break it down into smaller chunks so that you see um, how this person truly, truly would be acting, feeling, believing, all that. So the thoughts, um, you can choose to put them in any way, shape, or form you like, but I think the most powerful way to um, get these thoughts together is in the form of affirmations because um, it's typically the thoughts we have about ourselves that determine what we do and how we live our life and the beliefs we have, the feelings we have, whatever. So put them in the form of affirmations if you can. What thoughts would somebody who wants to be healthy and fit be having? They would probably tell themselves that I'm confident and I'm strong and I, I like going to the gym. I like working out. I enjoy eating good. I buy healthy foods, I make healthy choices, that, those are the thoughts they would be having on a day-to-day -day basis. So now, 
you have it kind of all planned out how this person will be in the world um, and the thoughts you must start incorporating into your life in order to become that person. So the next step is to do whatever you choose to do in order to incorporate those thoughts into your life. So a few examples I have is to just listen to affirmations like the thoughts that you said that that person you will have in the future. Write down the affirmations and repeat them to yourself every day or record yourself saying them out loud listen to them when you're getting ready in the morning and make sure to incorporate these thoughts into your mind on a day-to-day -day basis you are not going to change who you are if you do this once a week um, if you want to go further with this and have this process happen a little quicker and maybe more efficiently then i suggest you go into your own subconscious mind and try to figure out what you're thinking at this moment because again your thoughts right now are determining who you are and your personality in the world and if you're trying to change all that yes it can be effective and very efficient when you just try to start switching your thoughts over but if you're just adding new thoughts again that can be very helpful and work but if you're not getting rid of the old thoughts, then putting new ones there may not be the most efficient way. So instead you want to put new thoughts into your mind and take away the old thoughts. But to take away the old thoughts, you need to be aware of what you're thinking right now. So, you know, there's lots of different processes to do this, I guess, but my suggestion would be ask yourself, okay, how do I act in the world that is um, different than that ideal person I want to be. How am I acting right now? And again, break it down from there. Okay, well, what would I believe in order to act that way? And don't really think of it as what do I believe right now because you may not be conscious of your beliefs. In fact, most of us are not conscious of most of our beliefs and that's why we aren't the people we want to be because if we were just aware of everything, it would be a lot easier to change it. And so instead, ask yourself what would somebody who act this way who acts this way be believing and again break it down what would they be feeling what would they be thinking so the first step is just being aware of what your limiting beliefs are your limiting thoughts and then it will be a little easier to recognize those thoughts when they actually pop up because they're most likely popping up on a day-to-day -day basis and then when you have that thought you can recognize it you can just observe it and say no I don't want to believe you anymore I'm gonna kind of let you go and then take in this new good thought that aligns with the person I want to be and the action I want to be taking in life so this process has helped me so much it has made me become more aligned with the person I know I am meant to be and um, I am not you know exactly in this the ideal spot I want to be in but I am very content with life very happy and I think it is because of this way and this process and starting with thoughts I in fact I know it's because of that and so I hope this brings positivity to you I hope this gives you inspiration to um, let go of limiting beliefs, let go of doubts and fears and turn into the person you want to be and that you are meant to be because your personality is not set in stone. You can be different. Again, it takes effort, it takes time, it's not going to happen overnight and it seems a little impossible at first and I completely feel that. But it's not. It's really not. Start by one thought at a time and I promise you it will make a huge difference. So let me know how this goes for you. Let me know um, anything about this process. I want to hear what you have to say about all this. And um, I just hope that this helped somebody. So thank you so much for watching. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Thank you. Have an amazing high vibrational day. Namaste. <laughs>